All right, it's time to get brizzy. So I started this new little project or hobby and it's making my own wine, ciders, meads, I guess I've never done that before. Um, so you, all you do is just buy this juice already from the store, you know, like, like this here, which is the one I just made. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I made it. This is white cranberry. So I think the next one I'm gonna do is the uh, white grape and peach. Um, so I'm on this monthly subscription with Bruzy. It's called getbruzy.com and um, you get these packets. So all you do is add sugar in this packet to a gallon jug and it'll make four or five bottles of wine in about a week or so. Anyway, I've already made a couple batches. I made apple, which was supposed to be more of a cider, but it didn't carbonate the way I wanted it to, but it turned out really good. And uh, I'm right now I have some what is it cranberry cherry in the fridge so it's pretty much finished it just has to sit for a little bit longer um, I have a cold crash process that I'm doing right now so what that does is that brings the sediment to the bottom and you then rack it so then you pour off the clear wine and try to leave the sludge at the bottom of the bottle but anyway so that's a process that I'll show later, but for right now, I'm just gonna show you how we start the process. So I'm gonna go get my juice. We're gonna do white, grape, peach. So I bought a few different bottles to get ready. I have a peach iced tea that I'm gonna try and a raspberry iced tea that's in the fridge right now. And I also have just white Concord grape, but right now we're gonna do white grape peach so simple process so we just get our jug i purchased these um, wine bottles here they come with the little cork lids here and um so they can you can i mean i'm gonna buy some more on amazon but to start out i went ahead with the company and on a set of four gallon jugs so they this is what we brew it in so first thing we do is we put the juice in the jug so we use the, i have a funnel that <clears throat> came with the kit but um i'm going to use the one that i have because this one i like to use the sugar and obviously it gets wet so i'm going to first pour the juice in here your flavors. Um, I did just plain cranberry with a, a jug of organic cherry. So that was my last batch. And after I sweetened it when it was finished, um, you could taste the cranberry and the sour cherry um, notes on the top and uh, or the finish or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, you know, it's I'm not really a wine connoisseur per se, but this is a really fun project and I'm enjoying it. It's kind of neat to watch the whole you know, process from start to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Mm, it's good. Okay, so we're gonna put the other one in there. You have to leave a little bit back in the jug. You can either use it to back sweeten it after it's done, but you do need room on the top of the jug so that when it's fermenting, it doesn't, uh, bubble over. <laughs> so I'm going to leave about maybe a cup and a half to two cups of juice out. And that way it'll leave room for the sugar that I'm going to put in the yeast. So I may need to take more juice out after. So the jug is about this full. Let's see. And now I'm going to add my sugar. this here. I try to buy uh, as much of the products um, organic, but um, it's always not always easy to find the juice. You know, I shop, shop at Walmart, but you get some organic juices there. If you want to buy straight organic, I guess you'd have to go to like a health food store, Whole Foods or whatever, but I'm using 100% um, juice, so there's no additives, there's no high fructose corn syrup. I did check the ingredients. Yeah, so this one here has white grape juice. 
It has um, pear juice, apple juice, peach, and that's pretty much it, except for citric acid and ascorbic acid that's been added to it. But so then you pour after you pour the juice, then you put your sugar in. So I'm gonna put my siphon or my um, siphon. You know what that thing is. <laughs> anyway, I just had a blank moment. That's funny. Funnel. That's what it is. It's a funnel. Okay, so I'm gonna have two cups. Maybe I'll have two cups of sugar. Uh, actually, I'm gonna start with one and a half because it's already pretty sweet. It's already got sugar in it. So I'm gonna do one and a half cups of sugar. And then if I have to later on, I can add some more sweet. So, uh, half and a half sugar, and then the frizzy packets that come, you just, it's already got its yeast and whatever else is in it, so you just, a little tear on the thing, you just tear that open. Add that to the jug. And then I take the lid. This is good. Tighten this up. I want to shake this really good because there's like a ton of sugar on the bottom of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up until it kind of dissolve most of the sugar. Anyway, okay, so it's pretty well shaken up. No, I got these when you, when you order your your kit. It comes with these stoppers, these rubber stoppers. <clears throat> There's a fill line here, so you put water in there, just to that line. There's little air holes at the top of that. So when you put the stopper in the bottle, when it starts to ferment, you'll see a bubble. It's really bubbling. It's really fermenting. So the yeast eats the sugar. So anyway, I'm gonna. I'm going to give this just another shake so you can see the sugar really settling to the bottom. This has to be at about 80 degrees, the room temperature, so if you don't have a, a spot, I guess maybe someone else used a heating pad and left it like on low or whatever in the area, so I guess in the cabinet or whatever. But I have a closet that is kind of warm, so I'm going to just put it in there. So the first thing I want to do is put my water to the fill line in here. Okay, so now that's to the fill line, and I'm gonna put the little lid back on it, and then I just, you can see, just push the cork back in there. I need two hands. It will, it will look good. Okay, there we go. So now that's in there pretty tight. And then um, I like to wrap it with a towel, just to sit, and then I you put it in a dark spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my tea towels here, and I'm just gonna get a rubber band. And I'm gonna wrap this up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put it in the closet. So this will, st and um, every like later on, I'll come back and after I go to the pool, and then I'm gonna come and I'll shake it up a little bit more because you really want that sugar and stuff to dissolve. And you'll see, within a couple hours, it'll start fermenting, and this you'll start to see the bubbles <laughs> in the little stopper here. So I just tie that around there so that the towel stays, and then I'm gonna go put it in the dark closet. So. Probably after, I mean, you go and shake it a few hours, or every few hours, and then um, the last batch that I made, I added another cup of sugar, and it really sped up the fermentation process, but it also, I believe, changes the alcohol content. So, you know, I'm doing this because I like wine, and I like to catch a buzz. So anyway, um, as much 
fermentation as I can, as much alcohol content as I can achieve. That's that's the goal. So I'm gonna shake it up again, and then I'm gonna go put it in the closet. And uh, every few hours and few days, I'm gonna shake it again. And then once the bubbling stops in this little thing here, it's I pretty much to me it's like time to cold crash. And at that point, then you loosen the, you take this stopper out, and then you put the cap on loosely, you don't tighten it, and you put it in the refrigerator and it's called cold crashing. And what that does is that draws down all the sediment, the yeast and the products that you put in there, the sugar in that, and the yeast, whatever's left over, it'll draw to the bottom and then you, you rack it. So then you take it and you pour it into another container, trying not to get the sediment mixed in. And you do that and put it back in the fridge and then 48 hours you rack it again. Anyway, it's a pretty simple process, so I'm having a lot of fun with it. And so far, everything I've made has turned out really, really good. Um, I'll just show you here. One of our finished products is, um, this is my, my cranberry cherry one that is cold crashing right now. I actually had it poured into uh, bottles, but I noticed that there was still a little sediment. So I'm going to cold crash it for another day or two and then whatever sediments in the bottom I'm gonna rack it and I'll pour it into then I'll pour it into my individual bottles so these are my bottles that I bought and that came with these little corks um, and then so what I'll do is I'll I'll bottle it after and then drink it anyway I hope you enjoyed this so um I will make a couple more videos just to show you the process and if you're interested in doing this I have a link that if you click on the link and you want to order your products you'll get a discount so and I'll get a brizzy bag that would be nice anyway enjoy